Hey everybody, this is Linda and welcome to Lenny P's Place. I have changed the name of my uh, YouTube channel, so for those that have been with me for a long time, Crafty Lenny P is now Lenny P's Place. Um, I just, I don't know, I just felt like I wanted to change. I've been uh, Crafty Lenny P for a long time and I don't know, it just seemed like it was time to change. So I changed it to uh, Lenny P's Place because this is my my place in here. It's my happy place. It's my creative place. It's my, hmm, I don't know how I feel place. It's just whatever kind of place I want it to be, depending on the mood I'm in, this is where it is. So it just seemed like a, just seemed like a, a good a good name to change to, so I did. Um, and I've got a new camera and a new computer. My children, my daughter and my son, uh, gave me a new webcam and a new computer for my birthday. Um, my webcam stopped working. I don't know, probably six, seven months ago. So I haven't uh, did a whole lot of videos since then. I really haven't had much time, and I really haven't had too much to uh, to show you. So, um, but I do have a completed project, and it's not really completed, but I called it completed because I wanted to move on to something else. I have gotten into slow stitching and. I am very, very new to it because um, when I was like eight or nine years old, maybe, which was a long time ago, <laughs> like 60 years ago, because today's my birthday, um, and I'm 69 today, and I'm happy to be 69. Um, I'm, I'm happy with my age. Uh, I'm in a good place in my life, and I'm happy with my age. So, anyway, um, I used to sit on the front porch with my grandmother and try to crochet, but I was never really too good at it, and it just really wasn't my thing. Sewing never was. So, anyway, I've kind of taken up slow stitching, which I have enjoyed very much. Um, some of you may know who Ann Brooks is. Uh, she's very very good um, embroidery or seams or slow stitcher or whatever you want to call her. She's very good. And she has um, a challenge going on right now and it's called Sew for the Soul book. So I made one and I didn't uh, follow her instructions exactly to the letter. Because it actually the challenge is still going on, but in the beginning, she said to put four pages together because they were going to be like eight pages, and then she said maybe she'd add more. Well, I put my pages together, and after eight pages, I stopped. So this is my book, and I put a lot of lace on it, <laughs> and it's very pink. She we were supposed to pick our color, and my color was pink. So um, I'll just start with the cover, which was is I've got a lot of slow stitch in here. Let me see if I can um, bring you in a little closer. My new webcam has a great zoom on it so but I'm just now learning how to use it. So that's that's good. I think you can see it really well from there. So I did a lot of slow stitching. Um, I did some um, knots. Um, French knots, I can't remember what you call them, right up here in the center of these little flowers on this piece of lace. And then I did the, just the regular running stitch here. And then I did a lot of French knots down here. I really like doing the French knots. They're fun. I, I really like those. And then I did some more slow stitching. I mean, not slow, uh, what do you call it? Running stitches across here. And then I added this lace flower and I did French knots in the center and then in each one of these little 
uh, centers, I did a French knot. And then I did a little bit of uh, cross stitch over here and a little bit of, um, not cross stitches, but just like little uh, crosses. I don't know if they have a name or not. I don't really think they do, but I had did a running stitch first and then went back and put some little plus signs or crosses or whatever you want to call them. And in here, I stitched all through the lace in here. And then I did some more French knots down here. All of this lace was put on by hand. All, the whole book is hand, hand stitched. Um, the back, I just did a lot of running stitches and some more of those little plus sides and some cross stitches up here and some little, I think these are called, well, they're, they're just like long running stitches, but I think if they were a little longer, they'd be called pistol pistol stitches. Anyway, and then I put some little French knots on top of those. And then I did some little um, French knots down here on this. So I'm really into the French knots. <laughs> I like those a lot. And then I just used a piece of lace here um, and stitched it on and ran a little satin braided ribbon through the um, lace. So that's my cover, and then there's lots of, of little laces that I hand-stitched on. And I did three tiers on this side, <laughs> three tiers of lace, because <laughs> my book was, I don't know, I didn't get it stitched in right or something, and, and my cover was wider than my first page and so my stitching from the cover showed so I just put a lot of lace on it see now I really probably didn't have to be that honest and you probably wouldn't have known that but oh well okay so these were my first two pages and what we were supposed to do was use uh, rectangles and circles so um, I did some little circles here and I just put some long stitches like this in there. And I don't know what you call those. I haven't figured that one out yet. Uh, what you call those. And then I did the same thing up here with some smaller circles. And then over here I did two little, little circles. And it was just like little rings that made circles. And then I just did a running stitch in along those. And so that was my circles. Then I did some seed stitching, seed stitching here. This is seed stitching where it's just all over like little, just all different directions in between this piece of lace that I had added on. And then this is all running stitches. This one's going diagonally and these are going up and down. And this one's kind of going like in a square. And then I left the center because I haven't learned how to do all that um, fancy stuff in the middle yet. I'm got to work on that still. A lot of uh, running stitches, mostly running stitches. And then I put some little stitches across here in these um, little flowers and stitched down the lace with these little, just little stitches on both sides there. And then down the center, I added a piece of lace and did running stitches along there. So that was my first two pages. And of course, my, my color theme was pink. So I used pink and I did my circles and my rectangles. So that, and then this was the second. The, this was pages three and four. And we were supposed to do, I think Ann called it X marks the I didn't make any notes, so I don't remember, but I know we were supposed to do some X's and um, we were supposed to do a pocket. So I did a pocket. We were supposed to do a tag. So I did a tag and I kept my tag fairly simple. I just used uh, two different fabrics and used a little piece of uh, 
trim down the, down the side here where I joined my fabrics together and then I just did running stitches and then I did some little uh, pink stitches I just went in and out and then I tied them in knots put a button on because uh, we were I think we were supposed to use some buttons so I used buttons and um, I tied those on with a bow the same way and then the back is just running stitches and that goes in my pocket and here was my big X with my button and I put some X's on here just random X's here and there uh, cross stitches and put some more trim down here and this is all running stitches going in different directions and then on this side I added a piece of lace with some of those little French knots um, a piece of the lace that I use here I put here and did the same thing with just the running stitch uh, put some more buttons added a flower here with some cross stitching on this piece and then on another piece of trim and then I did the pistol stitches with the French knots and then of course I added I stitched my lace on all the way around and oh yeah and I put a piece of trim here with another uh, little ribbon running through it so that was pages three and four five and six we were supposed to use a color that we do not use often well I don't use red ever ever so I had some trouble finding some red stuff uh, anyway and we were supposed to use uh, well and calls them suffix suffix something or other but we call them uh, yo-yos suffix puffs she called them suffix puffs we call them yo-yos so whichever you want to call them um, I did the same all of my pages have this down the center of them just to keep them kind of um, cohesive I guess you could say uh, then I used some red ticking fabric here red and white and I used pink stitches and I did those little um, cross uh, little crosses there added some flowers here and there and they're kind of a they're a, a, a dark pink um, rosy color and uh, I really didn't do anything to those except just stitch them on then I added some red and pink uh, French knots to this piece of white fabric that I used a running stitch to stitch on put some yo-yo yo-yo in on this page and I used a button here little gingham button red and beige button in here I put some sequins and I don't know if I can get them to show maybe a little bit they might show a little bit sparkly another little button there and some red French knots in this one um, I used some red embroidery thread here on this pink piece of fabric and I used pink on this red piece here and then I use this is um, feed sack I used a big piece of feed sack here and it had some red flowers in it so I hadn't cut it it was a full feed sack so I cut a piece out of it I figured it was time I used some of it anyway so um, I used red embroidery thread to do my running stitches through there Here's some more um, yo-yos. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time remembering what I'm what I used. And I put a red button in this one, and I put some more sequins in that one. The light might catch them. And then in this one, I just had a little tiny flower that had a pink center in it, and I put that one in there. And then um, yeah, and then I went. I stitched my. I don't know why I didn't stitch my same um, trims all the way around, but I didn't. I used different ones for different pages. 
And I just felt like I was working on two separate pages, I guess. I'm not sure why. But anyway, uh, these were my next two, my pages uh, five and six. And then here's seven and eight. And we were to weave our fabric. So I weaved all my fabric, which I've never done before, but it was fun and I enjoyed it. I incorporated some lace in my weaving a little bit, not a lot, and um, did all just running stitches. The whole thing is just running stitches. I don't have any other stitches on these pages. Added some buttons, added a little sewing machine on a vintage um, hook. I think they're hook and eyes and this is the hook part. Um, here's the eye part over here and I added a little charm that says made with love. Added a pair of scissors on this uh, safety pin that I stitched down and another little button up here. And that is really it. That is my my book. That's as far as I went. But it was so much fun and I only stopped because I had some other projects that I needed to get to and I just needed to call this one done. So this is my eight pages that I did in the Anne Brooks Sew so, so for the Soul book challenge. And I enjoyed every minute of it. It was so much fun. And um, the challenge is still going on if you, um, you know, want to participate. Still going. But this was mine. I'm done and I love it. And I just want to thank you for stopping by. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye for now.